Good morning, YouTube. So, I was in the process of making a bunch of bud vases. Yesterday I got all of the, the spoons ready. And today I've got a bunch of bud vases to put together. So I figured I would do that together and be able to have uh, some of you guys ask questions and things. So I'm just going to sit here and put these things together. I will try and get everyone's uh, questions or um, everything addressed. So I'm going to bring it down here to where I'm working. Let's see if I can just kind of bring all of this down a little bit for you. So I've got just one, one arm here. This guy is going to stay out of the way. Um, I got my fire brick. I have rosin core solder. Um, I have my water flow 2000 uh, for the pieces like this that are open ended. And. Uh, I took and I flattened out a bunch or a long piece of this flux or rosin core and I'm going to use that for the bases. So let me grab one of these. The ones that are the whole base or the whole end. I'm going to use this to be able to solder right up next to it really close. Let's see if I can zoom in here. shaking so I'm going to use this and I'm just going to touch it right at the bottom so that I just get solder there I was taking and clipping off little pieces but I was always having to go back and add a little bit more to make it uh, more even and flush and make sure that I had enough on there so this one I need to correct because I want this further back. So to do that, I'm going to use my pliers here. Just bending it back. And now I'm going to bring this forward. So there we have a little bit of room. So, this one, I'm going to take and use one of these guys. So, for these open ended ones, I'm going to. Oh, and one more thing. I took a bunch of my uh, it was lead free solder that I got from uh, one of the craft stores it wasn't Michael's it was somewhere else <laughs> but what I did was I, I went through and I cut a whole bunch of little pieces off they're small but not super small They're probably 
three sixteenths. I mean, they're, they're really small, not super tiny. But what I'm gonna do for these is we're gonna take this, just gonna dip it just enough to get some on the base. I wanna get this centered. Let's make sure it's centered this way. It's actually kind of lopsided. The whole thing is lopsided. So I just wiped off my piece there. that fixed. Just put a little bit of flux back on there. Make sure everything's nice and straight. So we're good there. Good that way. Okay. Now I'm gonna drop a couple of pieces in here. One, two, three. And it depends on the size of the base as to how many I add. Four, five. Uh, let's do one more. Get my lid back on this. There you are. All right, I have my spray bottle here. My glasses are on. So this is silver plate and silver plate. Uh, stainless and silver plate do not like to merge. Um, I think I used this uh, um, Waterflow 2000 and the rosin core to stick the uh, stainless springs that we made for the bracelets. These guys here. Um, to get them soldered together and they worked out really well. I don't know. I'll have to uh, try that out um, if I can find a piece of uh, stainless hmm. yeah we'll have to try it out I have a couple extra here that we can experiment with but this guy is set to go I need my torch my lighter I have my uh, my solder ready and my, there we go. Looks like I'm running out of fluid. All right. So if you haven't done, haven't done this before, there's a little nozzle under here and you get these cans of propane the end of this nozzle just goes right into here and you're just gonna press it in there until it starts splashing out and we're done now back to full flame there we go all right I'll zoom you back in if I can, if my fingers will let me. Okay. 
So we already have the solder inside. I use the flux. It just makes it a little easier. Um, this, this solder th isn't rosin core. So you need the flux to be able to really make it stick. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a nice silver seam to come out. It just popped right there. So there's the seam. And I'm just chasing it right around the whole outside. There we go. Looks good. Now I'm going to spray down inside. I always try and give it a couple of seconds on the inside so that it really sets up. And I have a bucket of water back here that I'm using to rinse everything off or to cool everything down. So here's our piece, nice put together. All right, I'm a, that question, let's find out. So this is another silver plated. It's an older one, has a lot of scratches and some damage. Uh, let me grab a hollow handled knife here. Hmm. I think I have a stack of them. I think I know where there's a knife. Sorry. I'm gonna... Sorry. Come on. Zoom out. Okay. So I think right down here is. Actually, you know what we could do? We could just try and solder a bowl to here and see if it works. So let me grab a smaller spoon. There we go, there's a small one. And so we're gonna use the same method we do for the springs. So I'm gonna put with my brush. So silver plated spoon, stainless steel spoon. I'm just gonna put this on here. It's about where it should be. And then I don't want to be holding this. This right down here. Okay, so we're touching. I'm going to take and clip this off, clip a piece of this flat off. And because it's so hard to reach under there, I'm just going to set this right underneath where it's touching. Okay, now let's try this. And theoretically, if this spoon sticks to the silver plated spoon, this method should work, but I don't know if it's 
going to work. Let me bring it up here. But we, with this, I have some downward pressure. Um, I could add a little bit more pressure too if I need it. Yeah, it's already down. Do, 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 do. Does anybody else have any questions while we do this little experiment? Starting to get warm. So it just dropped. I think that should be good. Just want to make sure it's down. So here's where we find out. Nope. It did not stick to it. Let's see. I'll bring that back. Um, how do I see? There we go. Uh, the flux that I'm using is this uh, Waterflow 2000 by Alpha. Uh, we we're just doing an experiment, and the stainless will not stick to the silver plate the way we want it to with that solder. I haven't played around with other solders. But, uh, so stainless to stainless, but stainless normally needs to be welded and not, um, yes, yeah, stainless will stick to stainless, but you have to weld it as far as I know. Um, all right, so back to our faces. So what I'm using here is just a pair of these tweezers. And what I'm going to do is I'm using this to keep it straight and to keep downward pressure on it. There we go. No, I'm using silver plate for the for the bracelets. Um, with the that have the springs. So I bring this below my piece here. That way whenever I raise it up, I have a lot of downward pressure. So we're looking for straight two ways. We want straight up and down. Let me get you back down here. So we're looking for straight up and down and straight this way. good for me. 
So this I'm using for my flux. There it is. Not flux. I keep saying flux and I mean solder. <laughs> so this is silver plate and silver plate. That's what we're putting together here. We're going to solder it at this joint and we're going to solder it at the bottom. Sorry about the mess. Uh. See if this is ready. And I'm just taking and pushing this right into the joint. Okay, so I've got enough there. I'm going to heat this side up. There we go. And I'm seeing that go in between the two pieces. Take this guy out. We'll dunk it. Fill it full of water. base. I always check my my solder, make sure my welds are tight, and next we go to the next one. Uh, let's do this guy. It looks kind of cool. Does it sit straight? keeps it with the same pattern so this obviously won't stand up on its own so that's why I do this and a big part of this is just lifting up this piece just enough so that it still keeps the downward pressure on it. So it's straight that way. And we're straight that way. You want to make sure these are connected here. The solder doesn't fill, like to fill gaps. Once we get started with these, uh, they normally go pretty fast. It's all the prep work, getting the blades cut, or the handles cut, and then yesterday, um, I think there's 56 or something of the spoons that I bent. I was a little brain dead after all of that. Um, and then we have uh, the soldering them together. This is gonna take quite a while. Once they start going though, it's easy to just keep going. I normally just put on my headphones and just kind of zone out, listen to some TED Talks or something. Good. And then 
let's get this guy up here. And I'm using the block to hold my hand so I can keep heat where, right where I want it without shaking so much. What I'm looking for right here is I'm looking for it to kind of slip down along the handle so that I can, uh, I know that there's a good joint there. There we go. So what we're left with is a little bit of flux. Quite see it. It's just a little residue, yellow residue from this, or from the. I don't know how many <laughs> I have in the tumbler right now, but it is still a long ways from full. So it's a really pretty pattern. Oh, you can't see it. So again. Bring this down. Let's grab this one. So we are straight that way. And we're not straight this way. There's that. Okay, looks good. Looks good. And we do the same thing over and over again. Uh, this time I'm going to need some pliers because my My uh, solder here gets kind of warm once it gets short. You can hear some of the water but, uh, evaporating from the inside of the handle. So we'll see if this is ready. Nice job there. Now I don't really want the blade, not blade, but the flame touching the solder. Always give it just a second to make sure that the joints are solid enough to move it. I have moved it too early before, and then you have to reline everything. So, another good join here. I don't have any flowers or anything, but it works. And it's watertight, which is nice about these whenever you're using the whole piece at the end. Um, let's see, what do we got? These guys, when you use them, I always try and get... So I'm going almost all the way down to the bottom of this block also. Just wanted to tell you that However, you have to make it work. By all means, make it work. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? What are you making? I am making... You're still making those? Yeah. I had 50-something. Okay, I'm have fun. Be safe.
Uh, roads are good, but I didn't drive in Shades E, so they're, they're normally worse up there. Okay. I'm on YouTube Live right now. Hi, baby! Oh, yeah. Hello, YouTube Live. It's a cat. They can't see. Here. Don't show me, just show my cat. What? <laughs> Everybody wants to see the cat now. They do? Don't show me. Kitty. Kitty. Hi, Gabby. Hey. Okay. Alright. This video is going to go viral now because of the cat. <laughs> Gus Gus normally gets in here and gets in the way. Not in the way, but... Hey, Gus. Let's get you there. Okay, so we're set up here. I always like to put these in the middle. They just look so much better. So there's that. And we're straight this way. Daughter. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would rather have more solder in there than not enough. Alright, so this will be the last one I'm doing on YouTube because the video is already 32 minutes long. Do you guys have any other questions for me? Anything you'd like to see me make in the future? So I'm heating up the whole, whole piece around the edge. And we're just looking for our flux to kind of come out and change colors. So it just turned like a brownish gray color. Let me get you in here. Should be able to see that. Okay, so we're totally around. Spray down the inside first. By spraying on the inside first, you, uh, you're ensuring that you have a watertight seal. I thought I saw a message. Thank you very much. So here we are, nice and tight again. And because we've got that rim of solder all the way around, this is watertight. So even these guys that are cut off on both ends will work. I have almost nothing in my tumbler here. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven ish in here. I'll see how many I can get in there so we can get a uh, a good what came from my tumbler. But I thank you guys for watching this, for joining us, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't seen or haven't subscribed yet. Uh, we'll be making lots of videos. We have a lot of new stuff coming out. And my editing is getting a little better. I will hopefully have more time to do that and get out some some nice videos. Uh, Pico Tank is doing good, and I will see you later. Keep making.